Hey everybody, once again, me, Luke, without my uh, co-pilot, sidekick, the other guy, Josh, he's out doing something. Hopefully we'll be getting back together pretty soon and uh, collaborating again. It's a lot of fun having him do this stuff with me. It makes it easier on me too, and he always has a couple points that I miss anyway. Um, but last night, I went to go see a movie that I really had no intention of seeing. The only reason why I went is because somebody else paid for me. My girlfriend's dad. Yeah, there, she's smiling now. She's the one holding the camera. Uh, that's the only reason why I went to go see this movie. I went, uh, went and saw Avatar last night in 3D. Oh, man. Now, I'm sure right off the bat, there are probably some of you that are going to say, well, he thought that this movie was fantastic, and there are some people that are going to say, well, he thought it sucked. I'm, I'm in between on this movie. Um, it didn't have... I mean, I knew, I knew when the trailer came out, because everything that you heard on trailers, all the reviews were, this is the most fantastic movie that we've ever seen, and, you know, blah, 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 who gives a shit? So I knew immediately that it was going to be a half-assed movie with great graphics, and that's exactly what it was. It was a half-assed movie with great graphics. The whole point of this movie was to get you lost in the surroundings that you just kind of went along with everything. And I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It, it, was, it was amazing to look at. Um, but I guess that's what happens when you have a budget of close to $500 million. You know, anything goes, right? Yeah, taxpayer dollars. $500 million to make this movie. I'm sure there are many other things that people can think of to do with $500 million. Uh, you're more than welcome to comment me on what you would do with $500 million. I'm actually quite interested. But back to Avatar. Uh... For those of you that don't know what it is, it's about a planet, Pandorum, and uh, this tribe of people, and the reason why this movie got is getting some grief, or did get some grief, I don't know if it still is, I haven't been paying attention, I kind of don't care, but uh, is, is because that all the soldiers that are on this planet are all white people. And uh, the white people have to go and educate the, the natives, the savages, and... Watching this movie, it gave me a real good look of what the Native Americans probably felt like back in the day, I'm gonna be honest. Except uh, the Native Americans didn't get a white person to go dress up as them and genetically engineer one of them and pilot it. And uh, Weird movie. Oh, extremely weird. Uh, but it, it was a plot that I've seen before. It was like a feel-good movie, you know? If you paid attention to the story, it was just to make you feel good. You get this guy. He's paralyzed from the waist down. He gets another chance to walk. Yay. He goes and gets accepted by other people, and they accept him for who he is. Yay. He falls in love. Yay. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those feel-good movies. And I did. I felt good watching it. But uh, I was more interested in looking at all the stuff... I didn't really care about the characters. I just wanted to look at the surroundings. Because that was pretty awesome. Um, but as far as the plot goes, this typical plot, you, you just put this guy into another environment and he's got to... He's got to get the natives to move because the white people want to come and, you know, take all their land for this valuable stuff that they're looking for. And uh, he ends up getting stuck between the native people and white people pretty much um i mean i didn't feel like this movie was racist in any way don't get me wrong never mind that's a lie <laughs> that's a total lie i totally understood when i when this movie came out and i heard everything about this movie being racist i completely understand where everybody was coming from but at the same time if it's <laughs> it, it worked i don't have a huge problem with it i mean i thought it was funny that James Cameron went this route. You had a hint of Bible and racism in there. I mean, they they have this almighty tree that you cannot touch. For those of you that are religious out there, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, this movie, I'm going to give out of a 5, not out of a 10. I'm going to go out of a 10. I'll give it a, uh, a 6. I give it a 6 out of 10. It was, it was good, but I mean, it was just for show. It, it was just to look at all this money that went into the, into it 
was just to make it look good and you know keep you on on the surroundings you weren't supposed to really pay attention to what was actually happening in the movie you weren't supposed to pay attention to the characters you were just supposed to go ooh ah and it works it really does i i saw 3d which kind of sucked but that's a whole different story um but it, it was cool to look at it was an okay story six out of ten but for real though i do want you guys to comment me and let let me know what you would do with 500 million dollars i am extremely interested please please comment thanks